and welcome folks, welcome back to Let's Play Part, Planet of Death. Let us try something outrageous, let us switch the difficulty to hard, still playing with sector damage, and let us do another race. Let us try another track, something awesome, like this one. Something horribly complicated. And we shall do this race. First of all with the Bakar. That is as if you have um if you've paid attention to the storyline that was exposed in the text logs. That is in fact the card that we should have been playing during the championship, because that is the car that Derek Stealth is driving. Uh, let us adjust the settings of this car. We will uh, try to put as much into acceleration and speed as possible. Unfortunately, we can only put 100 points into speed and acceleration. Please, us with 100 points, which we shall distribute. Uh, equally into grip and handling. So these are um, basically the. These are not quite the stats that we had before. That they are a bit more daring. Okay. Let us raise with these uh, settings. This racing track is um, quite complicated. I know that because uh, I've already. Ugh. Yeah, I've already. Um, race this track and my, my frame rate is absolutely horrible right now but at least that that uh, shows that the performance issue, issues that I was having are not directly related to the blind rapper but are rather related to the game or maybe even in fact to fraps because as I've noticed um, Recently, Fraps performance is actually quite horrible. Um, yeah, and we're getting hit from behind. Fraps performance is actually quite, uh, quite miserable, at least for certain games. In particular, for games like Fallout. And that's the wrong wrong way yeah this track contains many false leads many dead ends and many sharp turns as well at least the frame rate seems to be okay now ah. It's clear that I will lose this race. The only question is by how much, okay? Ha! Nah. Okay. Yeah, I think if you um, if your car is damaged, you actually get slower. Okay, since my car's damaged. Anyway, let us let us try to do as much damage as we can to those other participants. 
and on hindsight that was probably not a smart idea. And I think we don't make... Yeah, we don't make that jump. Since our car is too heavily damaged. And I actually... And then I fell into some radio... A run law. Some radiation. I actually haven't found this box stop yet here in this... Uh, in this level. I mean, not level. In this track. And the other people are leading by five seconds. Okay, yeah, and yeah, got fooled again. I got fooled again. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Fool can get fooled again. If you know who said that, then you can feel lucky. Okay, let us try to use this. Ah, there's the box up. Okay, at least I now know, I now know where the box stop is in this level. Whoa. Ah. Almost made it. Yeah. By the way, so far I've made it through this whole game without ever without ever using the brakes. Let us... Yes. We made that jump. We're still losing, of course. Uh... I still like this game, even though I am quite horrible at it. And I got fooled again. Okay, now for the third time. And there's a strange face that is staring at me. By the way, strange. Did you see that ending cutscene of this game? Did you see how this whole planet turned into a giant flower? Okay. That was unexpected. I didn't even I didn't even uh, really comment on it so far. And the race is over. And we have lost, of course. Okay, at least one uh, there's one person that is even worse at this track than us. Okay, that was uh, this the race. We don't have enough time for another race, so let me read out to you now the second last text log, the second final text log. By the way, this text log I had to translate because um, I couldn't find the English version, so all of these text logs I found on the archived version of the Ubisoft website. However, the English version is not completely archived, so if that's even a word archived, I think it is. Okay, anyway, so I only found the French version and I had to translate it. Yes, I actually translated it. That doesn't it means that I didn't use Google Translate. I did this translation by myself and it's I think it's okay. Maybe a bit inaccurate in some parts, but I think it gets the main point across. Okay, let us, without further ado, read this note. D-Day minus two. 
Derek Stealth's journal. Diane. Do we remember what the guy told us back on this new back in the jungle on this new planet where we passed our honeymoon? That if you want to capture an elusive animal, a beast that is too dangerous to approach on its own territory, wait for it where it goes to drink. For this reason I decided to hide myself behind HQ and wait for these guys to show up to refill their, mach their machines. After only three hours I had found that track again. Not more complicated than that. They wanted to make a quick getaway when they saw me, but by then I had already rammed one of their cars, a smuggled AV-1, barely recognizable with that mounting on the roof, as harmless and pitiful as a turtle on its back. I extracted the driver using my discretion and booked him into a cell. He didn't give me any troubles emptying his, emptying his bags. His name is Manzano. He used to be a worker in Alderon. He told me that he and his pals were speed junkies that met by accident on the streets after the evacuation of Io. Apparently they started out racing against each other before they found out they had a common interest and started organizing proper races, just for fun. Anyway, Manzano is locked up for now. And if he is feeling lonely, he should be assured. His little friends will soon join him. And that's the end of this text log. And when we come back, folks, the final video, the final episode of this Let's Play, and the final text log that will tie everything together and it will explain why Derek Stealth entered this race in the first place. So until next time folks, until then.